I wait for anything? What's going on? This is Grixon. Let's talk about Necrotic. Yeah? Yeah. Necrotic is freaking hard for bloody case. <laughs> All right. Necrotic. If you didn't know how Necrotic works, every stack of Necrotic, which is applied by melee attacks, every stack you get, as you can see on my screen here, is going to apply a physical dot on you that will stack with each stack. Also, per stack of necrotic, you are taking 2% less healing and 2% less absorb. Fuck. I'm <laughs> take some hits. Oh, just get out of there. Once you hit... <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Once you hit 50 stacks of necrotic, you are taking no more healing. Don't wait that long. Do not wait that long. That's a blood DK. We, our primary mitigation is however much damage we've taken in the last five seconds is going to directly affect how much we heal. Now, we tank things, we take a lot of upfront damage, and then we death strike to heal it back. I don't think I need to explain this farther. The more stacks necrotic you have, drastically the less effective we are at tanking. So, if you're doing a lower key and you think, see this is a scary pull, look at all those groundskeepers. It looks small, but it is not. All those little mobs are auto attacking you and making your stacks come up very fast. Not good. Then, you need to be able to get out. Sorry for the long delay on the train of thought. You need to be able to get out. You need to be able to kite. Your idea here is going to be get in the fight, grab as much threat as you possibly can, and then around 20 stacks or so, maybe 25, leave. You need to, you need to get out. Your, some things can help you here. Let's talk about this. As a blood decay, one of your most effective ways to help is dancing rune weapon. When you're dancing rune weapon, you parry no, no, a lot more. No if you uh, if you parry an auto attack, you do not get the application of necrotic. That's a big one for you. Um, you can ask your team to help you. So your healer, depending on what type of healer they are. They can life grip you as a holy priest or priest in general. They can, I think just holy priest actually. They can life grip you. Maybe discipline too. I don't know. Anyways, they can life grip you. Shamans can put out their, their rock Ellie or their spirit link. Um, capacitor totems, ring of peace. AOE stuns can really help you a lot. If you can time with a friend a good AOE stun and then you kind of back up, you know, you put down like a death in the cave to slow them and then you back up, you can drop stacks really easily without having to kite far. Those things can really make a big difference in your game. So, go in, do a bunch of front loaded threat. A lot of DK tanks here will actually take. A lot of DK tanks here will take Super Strain and Bone Storm. Just try and front load as much as possible and then run. Or you can try and stick some of it out. Yeah. Yeah. See how it goes. Actually, I can't really link it this week, can I? Another thing you have to take into really consideration. Hope, yeah, kill it before this trash goes off. <laughs> oh, man. Archie. Always making me lose my composure in these keys, especially when I'm doing a voiceover. So, I'm saying so a lot. You have to worry about your application of necrotic. You have to worry about kiting. And then, here's another little wrinkle in the whole thing. This week is a tyrannical week. A lot of DPS that have never played tank before don't fully know how necrotic works except for that the tank has to run. <laughs> they will. This has happened to me this week already. Okay, so let's talk about this. Because it's tyrannical, they think 
you can pull as much stuff as possible and they'll just blow it up and you'll be fine. Dude, that does not work. You might find in some keys, DPS will just grab for you. <laughs> Don't, that's horrible. If you're a DPS player as a main, do not grab for the tank on Necrotic Week unless he specifically asks you to. Don't just pull more stuff because you think it's correct. Don't do it. The more things that are grabbed, the faster your necrotic stacks, uh, necrotic stacks are going to stack, right? So I would say keep your pulls around five mobs or so. Five or six. Depending on what cooldowns are up. So that means you're probably going to have to change. You're going to have to change your pulls. Whatever you do for Tyrannical, if you take huge pulls, you're going to have to tweak that. Because I'm telling you, doing smaller pulls and living and kiting less is going to be more efficient than big pulls and having to kite and most likely die. I hate that my necrotic stacks don't drop. So we're like out of combat pretty much or some stuff sitting in. And Spiteful is a bitch. <laughs> spiteful is hard. And spiteful applies necrotic stacks to the team too. So like this is like a max amount of people I would probably get. And Yeah, I uh, didn't establish threat yet. Yeah. DPS will do this to you. They will stop blow stuff up because they're trying to help you. They're like, okay, let's blow it up quick so he takes away less stacks. Well, if you don't have threat yet because you're a DK and you don't have a super high front threat, can be an issue. <laughs> so, uh, so far this week, this is the only one, this is the only key I have completed. I haven't timed any keys this week. I keep running into weird issues or, I don't know, it's, it's been a hard week for me. Try it. Let me know how it goes. A lot of bloody K tanks won't. They just simply won't tank this. They they won't tank this FX. They just sit it out and DPS or heal or do something different. I would encourage you to play it. I would encourage you to try and get good at kiting. What is happening in my background? Try it. Try and try and get some keys in because it's very this. This affix is really hard, but oh my God, that's not what I wanted. Holy shit. it really helps you learn to leave before you die, even on non-necrotic weeks. To try your best. Alright, see you guys in another one.